All right, so ran the uh, material and the uh, pump. It's working fine. The water seems to be pretty clear, although it's pumping some of that dirty. It hasn't settled. Um, and it was only a hundred grams as I was doing. I'm doing a uh, comparison yield. For Damien and I. Um, let me shut this water down. So we shut it down. And this is probably one of the best concentrates that I've done. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with um, classifying it down to 100 mesh. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> awesome, awesome. But, you know, what, what I have is everything heavy is staying in there and that is all gold um i do see right there that one okay yeah that right there looks to be like a clump move your fingers right here looks to be let me see if i can't focus this in any better okay. well, it just makes it more big and blurry but that looks like copper to me that looked like a copper bond wires if you will um I'll look at it with my microscope, make sure there's no bond wires in there. But go, moving on down the riffles, um, that was a big piece that seemed to have got through my screen. But even, even these little, little crumbs, if you will, down there, that, um, it looks to be a little bit of gold, but it does look like copper also. Um, it moves down pretty much the entire tube, um, but this is, it's looking to be possibly a little bit of gold, but I mean, if it was copper, there's not a lot of silicon in there, because the way I milled it, and it's pretty much clean, um, this stuff in here, I would not mind putting all together as a concentrate um, and then just get rid of base metals accordingly but I mean them riffles up here definitely definitely full of gold pretty heavy and pretty full um, pretty satisfied with this let me get this all concentrated and uh, put that back in get this concentrated and then we're gonna see what we could get so here we go, um, 100 grams each cup of BGA caps, two different processes. The one on the right was a wet ash. Um, as you see, the solution is yellow. Um, it might be cloudy, it might be a little bit dirty. Um, I was in a rush, it's Christmas Eve. Um, the one on the left is the 100 grams caps incinerated milled in AR that's where you get that green is the copper I weighed out a gram 0.1 each of these little uh, beaker deals with some water um let's go ahead and drop this gold We're going to go ahead and let both of these uh, settle out, do their thing, drop the gold, and uh, clean it up tomorrow. So I uh, dropped gold from both of these earlier. It's been about 20-30 minutes. Um, I believe everything is settled. A little bit of floaters on top, but do the stannis test to see if I use too much, maybe not enough, but stannis confirms and denies. Um, 
just a light brown-ish. I believe it to be a false negative. False positive, I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah. Gold. See them floaters right there. Spray that down. Get every little bit to fall. <coughs> Let those chill. The other gold, man, it's plated on that glass. It sucks. Um, but underneath, it's a good. So I can get it to break. Come on, baby, break. Crack. Oh, I can't get it to crack. I wonder if it's because it's so dirty. Anyway, that was bonus. This is for the YouTube, anyway. But, uh, possibly a little bit too much Stannis. I mean, uh, SMB. Oh, well. Check the results tomorrow. So the comparison yields. This one is the powder from the wet ashing. It's a very, very light, clean powder. This is the uh, powder from the uh, incineration. Might be a tie, who knows? And then this one, definitely. This is the powder from the um, rest of the four pounds of BGA. Um, that's a nice. Nice, good amount there. Very, very happy. So they're just sitting in water. Steam them off for a little while. And get the uh, weights later on. Okay, so here we are. Both powders are dry. One on the left was the wet ash. The one on the right was the incinerated. Look at the difference between the two. I'm thinking the purity is definitely more up there for the uh, wet ash. So start with the 100 grams of incinerated BGA and I got one gram out of the incinerated caps from BGA, 100 grams. Tear that out. Now the 100 grams of wet ash. One point one. Haha. <laughs> so. 0.1 better from the uh, wet ash, but probably a more higher purity. I'm wondering if I was to refine that and get it that color, how much I might lose on top of whatever. So there's the yields. Um, wet ash is better, but maybe not by much considering the way I process these and milled them and uh, the steps that I've used and did to uh, get this gold to its point definitely uh, would say that the purity on the wet ash is a lot cleaner like I said but hey two ways two yields two processes same chip same weight and there you have it Sony Eus, Eway Solutions, out.